Hey guys, today I have my skincare routine for clear skin. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I use on a daily basis to keep my skin healthy and everything like that. Obviously, I'm wearing a full face of makeup right now. Um, I just filmed a makeup tutorial, but I will insert some clips of how my skin naturally looks. You can see that it is quite clear skin. Keep in mind, I am 28 years old, <laughs> so my skin is starting to, you know, get the lines and the wrinkles and things like that. Um, but overall, I have have quite clear skin. I do actually have a bit of tan on my skin as well. Bit of a background on my skin. I did have acne growing up as a teenager. I was put on Roaccutane, which was really tough at the time and I didn't actually finish my course, but it did clear the acne up. I am left with some scarring on my face and especially on my back and on my chest. But for my face, I relatively do have clear skin, but I can get a pimple from time to time, maybe like a couple a year. It mainly shows up if I've changed my diet or if I'm not taking my makeup off enough. In general, products don't break me out. I tend to have quite good skin. It is a little bit oily. It does go through patches where it's more oilier than normal, but the rest of my face is quite normal skin and then T-zone is oily. So I'm gonna start with what I use first in the day, in the morning. When I get up and I have a shower in the morning, I use the Skinstitute L Lactic Cleanser exfoliates, hydrates, and refines. To be honest, it doesn't matter what cleanser I use. I really like the Pure Topia one, and I used a Sukun one. For me, it doesn't really matter what one I use. I just was sent this, so I decided to put it in the shower. The only thing about it is it's so runny, so you have to store it like this and then just kind of tip it out a bit, and then I will apply it on my face. It doesn't have any beads or any exfoliating feeling in it, but it does say that it exfoliates, not that I've really noticed that. For me, the products that I use in the shower in the morning, I just kind of like wake my skin up and get me ready and you know, take off what I had on overnight as well. When I hop out of the shower, there are a few products that I use. I had a whole range of Skin Skinstitute stuff sent to me and it's just what I'm using at the moment. So I have the Moisture Defense for Oily Skin and this is just a moisturizer that I use daily. I think my skin might become, might have become a bit less oily, but I don't know if it's because of this or diet or age or anything like that or the fact that summer's nearly, like summer's gone, it's going into the cooler months. Not too sure, but that's what I use every day. Previously, I've just used whatever ones are on sale from the supermarket like Garnier or L'Oreal or things like that. As I am growing older every day, I do use an eye cream. I have used one for the past couple of years, I think. And as the moisturizer and face wash, I do change it up from time to time. Just whatever I have, whatever's on sale. And lately I've been using the Skin Institute Ultra Firming Eye and Neck Cream. I use this underneath my eyes in the morning and I also use it on a few trouble spots that I have noticed wrinkles coming through. So over here on my head and in between my nose there and then on top of my lip. I don't really know if it's done anything because if it has, it's only done something really minor or it has just prevented it from getting worse kind of thing. But I make sure I do use an eye cream all the time because I just, I'm just not ready for my wrinkles to come out yet. <laughs> then if I'm tanning, the tan that I will use for my face is the Million Dollar Tan. This is the Mermaid Mousse Extreme for face. This is the only tan that works on my face. All the other tans just fade off. They don't last on my skin. This one does and it comes in a little bottle so it's just a mousse that you pump out and I put it over my face and yeah. I work a full-time job so I apply my makeup about 7 a.m. and then I don't usually take it off until like 9 p.m. at night. I actually never used to take my makeup off. I kind of didn't realize how bad it was. I used to get a lot more pimples or breakouts when I didn't used to take my makeup off to what I get now. To take my makeup off, I it is a bit of a process for me and I do wear like really long lasting makeup and waterproof mascara and things like that just because that's my preferences. So to take it off, I use the Garnier Clean Sensitive 2-in-1 Gentle Makeup Remover. What I do is I take two of the makeup remover pads and I put them together, put this on both sides and then put them on my eyes, hold the pads on there for a few seconds and then begin to rub the makeup off. I'm not rubbing super hard or anything like that, but just getting the makeup off and then I'll take the pads on the rest of my face, usually like one pad each side of my face, and then use the other side as well. And that actually melts off my makeup so, so well. But I know a few people have issues with waterproof mascara. I don't have issues when I use this. It comes off 
every time melts off it's fine and then over the top to kind of cleanse my face because I have used an oil-based makeup remover to get everything off I like to go over again and you would be surprised what is still left on your face after you've cleaned it so I use the Garnier this is the micellar cleansing water all-in-one I have used this for maybe a year or two years a bottle lasts so so long and I just take one makeup remover pad to, uh, dampen it with the water as I said you'll be surprised what is still left on your face it is nuts like it is crazy <laughs> you know this is only like ten dollars and it lasts literally like six months for me so I don't have to buy it very often these products for me go hand in hand and I wouldn't even think of using anything else once a week I do actually use the vanity planet ultimate skin spa system I've only been using this for the past month or so but I have noticed my skin be so much smoother from doing this this gets all your makeup off and like I mean my brush is like a little bit stained even from doing it but I just use the gray head on it I haven't actually used any of the other heads on it but this one does it for me but the first time I used it the next day my skin was seriously just glowing it opened up all my pores and then I applied my oil and then the next day I was just like radiant like it was just magic so I use this um, yeah as I said once a week you can use it more than that but I just haven't found that I needed to it's just taken everything off my face given me a fresh new layer and everything like that so I've seen a lot of people use this on on YouTube and like I mean I've never had one of these before so I'm so glad I've got to try one out now and I can see the results and I can see why people use them it's really great because it comes with this cute storage case where you can keep all of the heads and the brush itself I haven't actually tried this head yet this one is great because it doesn't hold bacteria this black head is a bit more of a deep clean but this one for every day so Vanity Planet are sponsoring this video so they have given me a coupon code for you to save 70% which brings the ultimate skin spa down to $38 now <laughs> that's so ridiculously cheap there's other brands out there that will retail for like over $100 or between $100 and $200 but $38 like what so I'll leave a link and all the information listed down below if you are interested in trying this one out after my makeup is all off my face I like to use the rosehip plus rosehip oil organic cold pressed this is the 30 mil and I've been using this for about two years I think and I noticed the biggest change in my skin when I use this. From my experience, other brands haven't been as good as this is for me, but I just apply like a drop here, a drop here, here, and on my chin, and then I just rub it in my face. I don't like put too much on my face, but I put enough to just like let it be and feel like really nice and so you can feel the oil on your face but it does seep in overnight so that's what I use nighttime and then I will occasionally go back in with the eye cream as well and then I'll kind of put a little bit extra and just like let it just soak in overnight so I've gone through stages of using this and not using it whenever I start using it again my skin is just glowing I feel like it has helped with my redness and I feel like it helps with breakouts as well it's so strange because I was under the belief oh I have oily skin when I was a teenager I used to wash my face like three times a day and I used to not moisturize because I thought that's making it worse really I was making it worse by doing those actions to my face because my face was saying oh there's not enough moisture so we've got to produce extra so applying an oil overnight will give your skin that moisture so that it becomes less oily I don't know how it works but it does work trust me like well for me it has worked and I've recommended recommended this product for a couple of years now and those who have tried it have said thank you to me. I know a few of you guys love this product and I'm so glad that I've recommended it and help you guys out with your skin because it honestly out of everything apart from like taking the makeup off with the makeup remover this this is it for me. That's it for my skincare routine for clear skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Um, I do use some of the same products that I've used in my last skincare routine, which was ages ago, but I just thought I'd do a new one and share with you what I'm currently using because I actually had a bunch of you guys ask to see. I hope you have a fantastic day and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed. I will see you in my next one. Bye. Care routine, I'm just gonna film the clothing and accessory haul really, really quickly and then have some lunch. It's like 1.30 and my stomach is rumbling.